Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing complex number in quadratic equation and uh, this is lecture number 6. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 5 before watching this part 6. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems which we have left out uh, in the previous classes uh, where we have left out. So, we just are going to start from the questions. Question number 13. Find the modulus in argument of complex number 1 plus 2 iota 1 minus 3 iota. This is the question. So, we can find modulus of uh, an argument of this question. Uh, just first we should simplify this. Without simplifying even we can find the modulus in argument because modulus of z1 by z2 is equal to modulus of z1 upon modulus of z2. But uh, even though if you simplify it, it will be uh, easy and uh, you will be able to get it. So, to simplify this, I can write multiply by conjugate of uh, this denominator that is 1 plus 3 iota, 1 plus 3 iota. So, what will happen? That will be 1 minus 6 plus 5 iota divided by 1 plus 9. So, that will be in fact minus 5 by 10 and this will be plus 5 by 10. Denominator is 10. So, that is minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2 iota. This is the simplified form of 1 plus 2 iota upon 1 minus 3 iota. Now, if I am looking for modulus of this, so modulus of this modulus of 1 plus 2 iota upon 1 minus 3 iota that can be calculated as modulus of 1 minus 2 iota that means modulus of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 iota and what is that that would be under root minus 1 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 2 whole square x square plus y square so that will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 uh, which will be under root 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Even if you find the modulus of numerator, that would be root 5 and that would be root 10. So, root 5 by root 10 is 1 by root 2. So, you can do that also. But because we have to find polar form, so that is why I have represented in this form. Now, argument, argument of complex number, argument of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 I have is given by because argument of this means argument of this is given by given by tan theta is equal to uh, is given by tan theta is equal to 1 by 2 upon minus 1 by 2 but minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 iota is lies in second quadrant quadrant and therefore theta is equal to argument of argument of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 iota is equal to pi minus theta and what is that that is minus 1 so where will be if you take modulus of that, that would be pi by 4. So, pi minus pi by 4, that is 3 pi by 4. So, argument is this and modulus is 1 by root 2. This is what we have to calculate. Now, there is another question. And next question number is question number 14. And let us see that what is the question. Question number 14 is there. And... Uh, Question number 14 is nothing else, but it is given that find the real numbers x and y. Find the real numbers x and y for which if x minus iota y and 3 plus 5 iota is conjugate of is conjugate of conjugate of minus 6 minus 24 iota. So, clearly uh, that is equal to solutions we can write here. 
सॉल्यूशन x माइनस आयोटा वाई इनटू थ्री प्लस फाइव आयोटा दिस इज इक्वल टू कंजुगेट ऑफ दिस कंजुगेट ऑफ दिस मेंस ट्वेंटी फोर आयोटा कंजुगेट ऑफ दिस बार एंड व्हाट इज दैट x माइनस आयोटा वाई इनटू थ्री प्लस फाइव आयोटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर आयोटा दिस इज व्हाट now if you multiply this together then that will be a real part will come from 3 multiply by x that is 3x and uh, 5 multiply by y that is minus 5y iota square so it would be plus 5y and imaginary part will come from 5 into x that is 5x and 3 into y that is minus 3y is equal to minus 6 plus 24 iota now equating real and imaginary parts equating real and imaginary parts imaginary parts we have two equation that is uh, one is 3x plus 5y is equal to minus 6 and uh, another is 5x minus 3y is equal to 24 so this two will be there Now 3x plus 5y is equal to minus 6. Using this, since 3x plus 5y is equal to minus 6, so 5y can be written as uh, 5y can be written as minus 6 minus 3x, and y can be written as minus 6 minus 3x divided by 5. So that will be a uh, one second equation. Now again, it is given that. Uh, 5x minus 3y is equal to 24. Since 5x minus 3y is 24, so we will use it 5x minus 3 times of place of y. We can write minus 6 minus 3x by 5, and that is equal to 24. So that will be further. We can write it 5x minus 3 6x 18. And three three is a nine, so that will be nine x divided by five. Five is a twenty five. We can take calcium, and that is equal to twenty four. So finally, it will be twenty five x plus nine x is thirty four x, and this is five, and this is one twenty four twenty four multiplied by five is one twenty, and this plus eighteen will come this side. It will be minus eighteen. So it will be thirty four x is equal to one zero two, and uh, this is three times. So x is equal to three, right now. So x is equal to three. Now since y is equal to since y is equal to minus six minus three x by five, so we we'll write minus six three into three upon five. And that is uh, minus six and minus nine minus fifteen by five. That is minus three. So x is three and y is minus three. These are the two real numbers, and that will satisfy the equations. So now moving to the next question, we have question number fifteen. Question number fifteen. And what is that? Find the modulus of Find the modulus of modulus of one plus iota upon one minus iota minus one minus iota upon one plus iota. So first, uh, as uh, we did earlier, we should simplify them. So first of all, we will simplify them. That will be one plus iota whole square minus one minus iota whole square and In the numerator, it would be one square minus iota square. So that will be one plus iota square plus two iota minus one plus iota square minus two iota, and that will be one plus one iota square is minus one. So it will be one minus one plus two iota minus one minus one minus two iota. So these two are cancels. You know, two iota. And minus two iota become four iota, and divided by two that is two iota. And modulus of this is so for modulus, 
therefore modulus is what under root modulus of 2 iota is we can write it like modulus of 2 iota is under root 2 square plus 0 square which will be so answer is two. so that simple question I think it was the easiest one and now the next question is question number 16 and for question number 16 um, the question is given like if x minus iota y x minus iota y whole q is equal to u plus i t then so that then so that u by x plus v by y is equal to 4 times of x square plus y square 4 times of x square minus y square and that is the question x square minus y square ok so what to do we will use it expanding solution will be like this x cube and uh, minus y cube so that will be a cube minus 3a square b plus 3a b square minus b cube this is the formula that is u plus iota v so where the real part will come x cube is the real part and real part will come from iota square is minus 1 that will be it will be a minus 3xy square because minus a square of minus is plus and iota square is minus so that will be the real part and real part is equal to u and here what the imaginary part will come that is uh, so we can write u by x is equal to separating a real and imaginary part both so what I did here or should I write in more steps? Okay, that is because many students are not able to get it directly. So I am writing here i 3x square y, but there is a negative sign, so I can take it here negative sign. Right now, minus this 3x square y, and here iota y q. Iota y q is nothing else, but it will be minus iota q y q and iota q is minus iota so it would be plus y q right now and iota is being already taken so plus iota q but because we have taken minus common so it will be here minus since minus is being taken common it will be plus but because minus is being taken so we can write it like this and is equal to u plus iota so equating real and imaginary part again and we will have the situation on equating so this employee real part x q minus 3 x y square is equal to u and y q multiply by negative it will be y q minus 3 x square y is equal to e so if i divide by x u by x now u by x and e by y what will happen if I divide it by x, then u by x will be x square minus 3y square. This is 1. And e by y is equal to also will come like e by y is equal to y square minus 3x square. That is equation 2. Now we have to find what is the question was both as plus u by x plus e by y. So we will write u by x plus b by y is equal to x square minus 3y square plus y square minus 3x square. So by adding them and the result will be uh, x here x square minus 3x square that is minus 2x square minus 2y square. So to get the result there must be should be there should be negative sign. So in question also there must be this is the printing error I hope and uh, it must be here negative sign. So there must be negative sign. 
So if I will subtract this, then what will happen? This, then x square minus 3y square. And if I subtract, then this will be there will be negative sign. And if I put negative sign of this two, then that will be x square minus minus plus 4x square. And that will be minus 3y square minus y square 4y square. And that can be written as 4 times of x square minus y square, which is true. So, in question, uh, you must correct it. Now, the next question is question number 16. And question number 16 is there. This was 16, in fact. Question number 17. So, 17 is given if alpha, beta, if alpha and beta are different complex number, are different complex number, different complex number with properties mod of beta is equal to 1, mod of beta is equal to 1, then find beta minus alpha upon 1 plus alpha conjugate beta is equal to what? Of course, beta is equal to mod of beta is equal to 1. Given here, mod of beta is equal to 1. So, we can write solution here. Like, uh, solution. Since mod of beta is equal to 1, and therefore mod of beta square is also equal to 1, and therefore beta into beta conjugate is equal to 1. Similarly, uh, let us consider this beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha conjugate beta whole square is equal to beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha conjugate beta into beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha conjugate beta whole conjugate using the property z into z conjugate is equal to mod of z square. So, using this property I have written like this. Okay, now what will happen? See, the output will be here. From here, I can write beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha conjugate beta and conjugate of z1 upon conjugate of z2. So, what will happen? Conjugate of beta minus that will come up like uh, beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate upon 1 minus alpha conjugate whole conjugate is again alpha and beta conjugate that will come. So, if you multiply these two, uh, what will come? Let me write here. So, if I multiply these two, since alpha conjugate whole conjugate is alpha, uh, this is what I have used here. Now, uh, we can write beta into beta conjugate minus beta alpha conjugate minus alpha beta conjugate minus alpha alpha conjugate whole divided by in denominator that would be 1 minus alpha alpha conjugate beta beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate beta and minus alpha beta conjugate that is since alpha alpha conjugate is equal to mod of alpha square and beta beta conjugate is equal to mod of beta square, you can use it z z conjugate is equal to mod of z square. So, I want to use this and after using that, what will happen? There will be mod of beta square minus beta alpha conjugate minus alpha beta conjugate minus mod of alpha square. And that will be again 1 minus mod of alpha square, mod of beta square and minus alpha beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate beta. Alpha conjugate beta and there is alpha conjugate beta or minus alpha beta conjugate. Since mod of beta whole square is equal to 1 given, isn't it? So, we will use this. This one we will use 
and here what will come that will be 1 minus beta alpha conjugate minus alpha beta conjugate minus mod of alpha square and there will be also 1 minus alpha square mod of alpha square beta is 1 and now alpha conjugate beta minus alpha beta conjugate these are the same expression 1 minus mod alpha square is there minus beta alpha conjugate is there minus alpha beta conjugate is the same thing that is why they will be cancels together and that will be equal to 1. So now since beta minus alpha upon 1 minus alpha conjugate beta whole square is equal to 1 and therefore beta minus alpha 1 minus alpha conjugate beta modulus must be equal to 1 that is the proof. I hope you got it. Now there is another question and question number 19. So let us solve this question number 19 and what is that? The question number 19 is find the number of find the number of number of non-zero integral solution non-zero integral solution integral solution of the equation of the equation mod of 1 minus iota whole to the power x is equal to 2 to the power x. To solve this question what you need to write here solution let me write 1 minus iota whole to the power x that is 2 to the power x. But since base are different, so we cannot do it like that. Now we can write it 1 minus iota mod is nothing else but uh, modulus. If you will find it, then what will happen? That will be under root, under root 1 square plus minus 1 square and whole to the power x, that is 2 to the power x. So this will be under root 2 whole to the power x is equal to 2 to the power x. Now that can be written as 2 raised to the power x. Root 2 is nothing else but power half. So it will be x divided by 2 to the power x. This employee 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power x by 2 is equal to 0. So we can take 2 to the power x by 2 common and there will be 2 to the power x by 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. So either 2 to the power x by 2 is equal to 0 or 2 to the power x by 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. That is uh, this cannot be equal to 0 because log of 0 is not depends so that never be equal to 0. So 2 to the power this implies 2 to the power x by 2 is equal to 1 and that can be written as 2 to the power x by 2 is equal to 2 to the power 0. So this employee x by 2 is equal to 0 and this employee x is equal to 0. But uh, the, so x is equal to 0 is the only value which will satisfy. So non-integral solution, non-zero integral solution is not possible. And therefore, which is non, which is, so non-zero, therefore non-zero integral solution solution not possible for equation not possible right so i hope you got it now the next question is question number 19 and question number 19 watch see what the question a plus iota b that is written if a plus iota b c plus iota d E plus iota f and G plus iota h is equal to A plus iota b. Then, so that what so that A square plus B square, C square plus B square, E square plus F square, G square plus H square is equal to a square plus b square. There will be different solutions we can take modulus both the sides but uh, I am solving in some different way since a plus iota b 
C minus iota d, C plus iota d. So C plus iota d and uh, E plus iota f and G plus iota h is equal to A plus iota b. You may write taking conjugate, but I am writing here and replacing conjugate both the sides, right? Okay. Taking conjugate both the sides. Conjugate both the sides. Both the sides. So if I am taking conjugate both the sides, then that will be A minus iota b, C minus iota d, E minus iota f and G minus iota h as equal to A minus iota b. Even you can write replace iota by minus iota. So in that case, this will be in that case, this will be uh, multiply 1 and 2. Now, if we multiply 1 and 2, multiply, multiplying 1 by 2, 1 by 2, we have corresponding elements. So, that will be A plus iota B into A minus iota B. C plus iota D multiply by C minus iota D and E plus iota F multiply by E minus iota F G plus iota H multiply by G minus iota H and RHS it will be um, A plus iota B multiply by A minus iota B right so that will be Z into Z conjugate is mod of Z square so that will be a square plus b square, isn't it? c square plus d square, e square plus f square, g square plus h square is equal to a square plus b square. This we need to prove. Okay. Now let us solve one more question, and that is question is if one plus iota upon one minus iota whole to the power m is equal to one. Then find the least positive integral value of m. Then find the least positive integral value of positive integral value of m. Integral value of m. So what is that? Least positive integral value. So, solution can be written like, solution will be 1 plus iota upon 1 minus iota whole to the power m is equal to 1. This implies we can write it 1 plus iota upon 1 minus iota. We can simplify them by multiplying conjugate of this, you know, and whole to the power m that is equal to 1. Because multiplying with conjugate numerator and denominator there is no impact so we can do that now that will be 1 plus iota whole square and that will be 1 square minus iota square whole to the power m is equal to 1 this employee 1 plus iota square plus 2 iota divided by 1 plus 1 iota square is minus 1 you know so that will power m is equal to 1 now we can write further that uh, 1 minus 1 plus 2 iota divided by 2 whole to the power m uh, is equal to 1. So that will be 1 1 cancel. 2 iota by 2 whole to the power m is equal to 1. 2 2 cancel. So iota to the power m is equal to 1. And you know since iota to the power 4n is equal to 1 or an is any natural number, an is any natural number. So value of m can be, uh, we can write for n belong to n, right now, natural number. So for positive integral value, even after to the power 0 is also defined, but uh, we will write here, mm, I, the value of m can be multiple of 4. And therefore, m is equal to 4n. m can be m can be 4 or 8 or 12 or like.
this. So, least positive integral value therefore, since least positive integral value, positive integral value, integral value of m is 4. That will be the answer. So, I hope you got it. This is uh, all about uh, this topic and uh, uh, there are some supplementary unit as well. So, we will discuss those supplementary unit uh, which has been introduced later uh, in course that is a square root of complex number and q root of complex number in next session. So, till then I hope you revise this. Uh, so, we will discuss supplementary unit in next class and uh, till then you revise all these concepts. So, thank you very much. God bless you and uh, do subscribe this channel and also refer to uh, your friends so that they will be also equally benefited. God bless.